Learners, today we are looking at the topic of organic chemistry, which is defined as a branch of chemistry that deals with the study of organic compounds. Now, organic compounds going to deal with in this topic is hydrocarbons. Hydrocarbons are defined as a compound which contains carbon and hydrogen only. Now, we have two types of hydrocarbons in this topic. We have saturated hydrocarbons and unsaturated hydrocarbons. Saturated hydrocarbons are those which contain single bond in at least two adjacent carbon atoms, as follows. Unsaturated hydrocarbons are those which contain a double or a triple covalent bond in at least two adjacent carbon atoms, as shown below. This is a carbon atom, then you have a double bond here, and then you make a line here and here that to, make, to make four four bonds in each carbon atom. An example here, and then you also have a triple bond. A triple bond. So these are examples of what you call unsaturated hydrocarbons. Now in this the examples of unsaturated are alkenes, alkenes and alkynes. Kinds. We look at the alkenes. Now, in the alkenes, we look at the general formula. The general formula is Cn H2n plus 2, where n is the number of carbon atoms. Now, the number of carbon atoms of each alkene depends on the prefix. Now, when the prefix is meth, that is one carbon atom. Eth that is two carbon atoms. Prop is three carbon atoms. But is four carbon atoms. And this is the last one where is deck, which has ten carbon atoms. These are said to be saturated hydrocarbons because they have single covalent bond between at least two adjacent carbon atoms. These can be biogas, natural gas, or they are obtained from crude oil by fractional distillation. Now, nomenclature of alkenes. How are they named? Nomenclature of alkenes. Now, alkenes are named by joining a prefix to a suffix NE. The prefix indicates the number of carbon atoms, and then the suffix for all of them is NE. Now, for example, I say when n is 5, the prefix is pend, then the suffix is n, so we get what we call penden. The molecular formula of this penden from the general formula up there is C5, then 2 times 5 is 10 plus 2 is 12. That's the molecular formula. The open structural formula, we draw 5 carbon atoms, five each joined by a single bond. Then you make four bonds each of each of the carbon atom. Then you place hydrogen in each of them. Hydrogen in each one of them. That is called open structural formula. Now to draw the condensed structural formula, you take this first carbon atom, it has got three hydrogen atoms. Then the next one has got two. The next one is two. The next one is two. So you can combine all the two, say CH2 bracket 3, because there are three. One, two, three. Then the last one is CH3. That is condensed structural formula. Learners, that is the end of the lesson. The next lesson we're going to look at naming of branch alkenes and the Thank you. Subscribe and like.